Okay, now we'll be taking up some practical problems in AP and GP, that is in real life situation, how we can apply them. Okay, you have something like this, if you say one paise today, two paise the next day, four paise the succeeding day, your total savings in two weeks will be so and so. So, today, so A is turning out to be one paise and D, this is definitely an arithmetic progression because every day this, sorry, this is not an arithmetic progression. A is 1 paise, T2 by T1, T3 by T2, all this is 2. So if you see 1 paise today, 2, 2 by 1 is 2, 4 by, so it's a GP. And Total savings in two weeks, that is two weeks is going to be N is 14 and your total savings. So you need to find S14 when it is a GP. S14 is going to be A into R raised to N minus 1 upon R minus 1. We use this formula because R is greater than 1. So A is 1. So 2 raised to N minus 1, that is 2 raised to 14 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1, which will turn out to be 2 raised to 14, that is 127. So it is this turns out to be 16,384 minus 1 upon 1, which is 16,383 paise. Now the answers has been given in terms of rupees. So it's obviously divided by rupees. So it turns out to be 163 rupees and 83 paise. So we get 163.83 paise, which happens to be this. So this is definitely a geometric progression. Further, yes, and then it's tallying with what we got. Okay. Next, we have is a person pays rupees 975 in monthly installments. Each installment is less than the former by rupees 5. The amount of first installment is rupees 100. In what time will the entire amount be paid? So, the first installment, now this, since each one is less than the previous one by rupees 5, this is definitely an AP. Each one is less than by previous one by 5 means D is minus 5. The first installment is 100 and the total that has to be paid is 975 and we need to find N. In what time will the entire amount be? Paid. So we are going to use Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So Sn in any case is 975 is n by 2 into 2a that is 200 plus n minus 1 into minus 5. This turns out to be 1950 is n into 200 plus 5 minus 5n. This turns out to be 1950 is n into 205 minus 5n. You can divide by 5 throughout. So we have 1950. So we have 390 is equal to 41n minus n square and this turns out to be n square minus 41n plus 390 is equal to 0. If you simplify this, this turns out to be n square minus 26n minus 15n, 26n minus 15n plus 390 is 0. So this, of course, if you solve it, you get n is 26 or n is 
50. So we get two values, n is 26, n is 15. Friends, earlier we have told you in one of the examples that whenever d is negative, there are two valid answers that could satisfy the condition in a general problem, a question in mathematics. But in this case, we have a real life problem. That means it is once 15 installments are cleared, already the sum becomes zero. The sum has already become zero by the time he has paid 15 installments. So further, there are no more installments to be paid. By any chance, even if 26 is giving zero, because there are equal number of negative numbers to, ca ca uh, to compensate or cancel away a few positive numbers. So mathematically, even if you take n as 26, you will get the sum as 975. But since it is a real life problem concerned with giving away installment, the lower value has to be considered because the moment 15 installments are cleared, the total amount has been paid. Further installments are absolutely not needed or inadmissible or absurd. So SN is zero when SN that is uh, after 15 installment, the 16th installment, nothing else is left. So we are going to consider only NS 15. Although 26 and 15 both keep it positive, we don't consider 26 because the amount keeps on reducing. By the time it comes to N is 15, the entire 975 rupees have been paid. Furthermore, adding this and this could make it 975, but that's because they involve negative amounts that have been given. So the total turns out to be the same. Hence, we will consider only N is equal to 15. So please note this particular process. So we have 15 months. So we cannot have both 26 and 15. If it was a general question in mathematics, both 26 and 15 would be correct answer. But this is a case of application of APGP in real life. So the lower value will be considered. Okay. Here we have an interesting situation. A certain ball when dropped to the ground rebounds to four fifth of the height from which it falls. It is dropped from a height of 100 meters. Find the total distance it travels. So it's like this is 100 meters. So the situation is similar to this 100 meters. After which it rises to four fifth of 100. That is, it's going to rise to 100 into four fifth, which will be 80. So this will be 80. And again, it comes back 80. And then again, it rises to 4 fifth of 80. That is 4 fifth of 80. Again, comes back. Again, it rises to 4 fifth of 4 fifth of 80. And again, comes back. And again, it goes to 80 into 4 by 5 the whole square and 4 fifth of this. So, which means this is like telling you're adding up the term. So, it's eventually 100 plus there is 180 that it goes up and comes back. So, there is two 80s. Then again, 4 fifth of 80 it rises, 4 fifth of 80 it comes down. So, there is 80 into 4 by 5. Then again it goes to 80 into 4 by 5 square twice and hence 80 into 4 by 5 square. Then similarly twice it rises 80 into 4 by 5 cube and also comes down. So you get 4 by 5 the whole cube. So this is how we have the situation. So remember, it's going and coming back to the same height. So eventually, 100 would remain as it is, 2 would remain as it is. This forms a GP where A is 80 and R is 4 by 5. And you have to find the sum of this GP to the nth term. So it's an infinite series where R is less than 1. So it's going to be Sn. So it's going to be a upon 1 minus r, which would be 100 
plus 2 into a turns out to be 80 upon 1 minus 4 by 5. It's 100 plus 2 into 5 minus 4. So it's going to be 1 minus 4 by 5 is 1 by 5. So which is the same as 2 into 5 into 80 by 1. So it's going to be 100 plus 2 into 5, 10 into 80, 800, which will be 900. So the distance covered. Now here, I would like to categorize. When they say distance, the ball is going to keep on moving and the same thing. So they mean this vertical distance that it covers, not this. So it is going to keep bouncing like this at the same place. So this distance is not important. The vertical distance that it covers, which is 100 plus 2 times 80 plus 2 times 18 to 4 by 5 plus 2 times 18 to 4 by 5 square plus 2 times 18 to 4 by 5 cube and all that. That vertical distance turns out to be 900 meters. So among this, we have this as the right answer. And let's check it. Yes, it does tally with what we have. Okay, we have another <clears throat> similar kind of a situation. A contractor who fails to complete building in a certain specified time is compelled to forfeit rupees 200 for the first day of extra time required and thereafter forfeited amount is increased by 25 for every day. If he loses rupees 9450, for how many days did he overrun the contract time? So, we have this is definitely an every day the forfeited amount increases by 25. So the first day he has to forfeit 2, then 225, then 250, and then 275, and all this. And all this turns out to be 9000. So obviously it's a case of AP. It's an AP where A is 200 and D is 25. Here D increases. And SN is 9450. So, hence we use SN formula. SN is N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Hence, 9450 is N by 2, 2A, that is 400 plus N minus 1 into 25 which turns out to be 18,900 is equal to N into 400 plus 25 N minus 25, which turns out to be 18,900 is equal to n into 400 minus 25, 375 plus 25 n. We can safely divide all the terms by 25. So we have 18,900 divided by 25, which is turned out to be 756. 756 is equal to 375, which will turn out to be, I suppose, 15. 375 divided by 25, which is 15. So, n into 15 plus 25, right? So, we have n squared minus n squared plus 15n minus 756 is zero. So n squared plus 15 minus 756 is zero. So we can take accordingly, we can find 15 squared which is 225, 4 into 756. So it turns out to be b square minus 4ac turns out to be 57. So in that case, n is going to be minus b minus 15. b square root of b square minus 4ac is 57 minus 15 plus or minus 57 upon 2a. 
so n will turn out to be it cannot be negative so it's going to be minus 15 plus 57 by 2 which is 42 by 2 that is 21 days it cannot be minus 15 minus 57 that is minus 72 by 2 because the number of days cannot be negative it has to be minus 15 plus 57 42 by 2 that is 21 days we the person uh, goes a little late and he has to forfeit that much amount of money so the answer is 21 days let's check it and yes we have gone right okay furthermore on 1st january every year a person buys national savings certificates of value exceeding that of his last year's purchase by rupees 100 after 10 years he finds that the total value of the certificates purchased by him is rupees 54500 and the value of certificates purchased by him in the first year has to be what so it is definitely a case wherein it's an ap so if the first year is a is not known d is 100 and n in this case is 10 because the period that's in question is 10 years and SN that is the total amount of value of all the certificates is 54,500. So our issue here right now is to find the value of A. So we use SN is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into 2. I would like to remind you there is another formula for SN which is N by 2 into A plus L but that is not valid over here. So, this turns out to be 54,500 and this will be 10 by 2, 2a, we do not know, plus n minus 1, that is 9, 10 minus 1, 9 into d, that is 100. This is 10 by 2, 5, so it is 54,500 divided by 5, which turns out to be this this turns out to be 10,900 that is 54,500 divided by 5 is 2a plus 900 therefore 2a is 10,000 so a sorry 10,000 a turns out to be 5,000 so the first installment or the value of the first year's national savings certificate is 5,000 so he buys national savings certificate worth 5000 rupees on the first year okay it does tally with what we got 